Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to launch Microsoft Store apps with Stream Deck. Now you might say, well, there's the open action. Can I not just use that one? And the answer, unfortunately, is yes, but no. Um, so we will be using the open action, but it's not as straightforward by just dragging the application or the shortcut onto that action. We have to use a little trick. I will show you how it will work for standard applications if you didn't know that yet. And then we will get into how it works with the applications that we install from the Microsoft Store. One of, one of those applications, for example, is WhatsApp that we can install on our desktop. So let's see how this works. So the easiest thing that we can do is just, you know, we have a shortcut here that we can just drag on any of our keys right there. Um, you can see it, it's not valid for a dial, but we can use it here. And now I have an open action right there. And this is going to lead to my executable from Camera Hub. And whenever I press that key now, um, Camera Hub will launch and you can see it's right there. Perfect. Okay, so now let's start an app that we installed from the Microsoft Store. Unfortunately, we cannot just drag the icon onto a key because it doesn't have a valid path to an executable behind this because these apps work a little bit different. So we need to go, uh, use a workaround. And let me show you how that workaround works. So what we need to do is that we have to use this string right there. And all you have to do and switch up here is change this string right there. Um, and you can figure out that string by just going into your start menu and looking up the application name. And that's the exact string that you have to put in here. So if I hit enter now, this brings up uh, WhatsApp. So all that we have to do now to create an open action that actually launches this app is we drag an open action up here and paste in our string. And when I hit my key now, this quickly launches the PowerShell, which depending on your system might be longer or shorter, and then will launch the app again. There we go. And this is how you can launch UWP and Microsoft Store apps using the open action by navigating through PowerShell. I hope this is helpful and you can make the best of that. And please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and tips and tricks like that that will help you streamline your workflows. Thank you very much for watching.